Hey, Brianna. How are you? Hi, President Wheeler. How are you today? Good, good. My name's Daryl Wheeler, and I get the pleasure of once again being with you as the president here at State University of New York, New Paltz, and I'm joined with... Hi, everyone. This is Brianna Higgs. I sit as the Student Association President at the State University of New York at New Paltz. So today we're come together because we know there's some questions about the inauguration coming up next month. And Brianna and I thought maybe it's a good idea for us to get together and answer some questions that faculty, staff, and student have. Most definitely. Right. So, you ready to get into these questions? Absolutely. Okay. So, I've been, you know, talking to a lot of students and they're really trying to understand, like, what is a presidential inauguration? So, like, what is it? Great, great. A excellent question. We get some of the same questions from the faculty. Yes. So the inauguration it itself is a set of activities that celebrate and recognize and are surrounding what's known as the investiture of the president. The investiture is something that happens with a ceremonial acknowledgement of a new president coming on board, typically within the first year that you're brought into the position. So it's it's a it's a it's kind of a like commencement or um, convocation where the community comes together, faculty, staff, we're in regalia. It's, think about that kind of an event. Mm -hmm. And our celebration is a celebration of the rich history of the university, our relationship with our community partners, and it actually is split in three days. Okay, so three okay. days. So on the first day, which is Wednesday, the 19th of April, mm -hmm. guess what we're celebrating? The students! students. <laughs> Absolutely. This is about the students, and it's a recognition of the partnerships and the collaborations with students and faculty. On the second day, it's the investiture. It's the formal ceremony where the president gets to put on the regalia and get their speeches, and we're going to be joined by hundreds of people. I saw the list. There's over there's almost 600 people who've already registered oh. for this event. Then on the third day, um, then there is the day to celebrate the community. And there's a lot of community activities. So there are three days with the actual ceremony of the, eh, the formal on the 20th of April. Okay, that, that sounds really good. So um, what else happens in the investiture? Okay, so the investiture itself, on that day, there'll be a, a, a procession where we march in. There'll be people from other institutions representing their institution. There'll be students in the procession. There will be a brass band. So a lot of what we call pomp and circumstance. It's gonna be held at the AWC, at the Athletic Wellness Center. Once we get in, we take to the stage. There'll be speeches, national anthem, singing. Um, I'll give a presentation speech. I understand we've got some videos highlighting the yes. beauty of our campus and some phenomenal things. And when the event is over, there's a huge reception thanking everybody, a chance for me to meet our well-wishers. But throughout that day, we're really highlighting what makes SUNY New Paltz special, why we are a phenomenal institution. It's not so much about me, but it's about my opportunity to kind of set forward elements of what I think is the vision mm -hmm. for going forward. But it's all about SUNY New Paltz. Okay. It sounds like we're about to make some history. We're going to make some history. Great point. Yeah. You only do an inauguration when there's a new president. So the last time we had a new president was over 13 years ago. And as you call him, Donnie P, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Christian, did a phenomenal job. And once he, when he retired and I became the president, it's now time to make history again and bring on board your next president. And so this is something that most students won't even experience if it's happening every 10 years. Hopefully you're not here 10 years from now <laughs> in the same position. Um, you, you wouldn't even get to be a part of one. So the students, the faculty and staff are part of a moment in history. Okay, I, stop. I like how that sounds. So um, are we like required to come to all of the events, you know, with schooling and stuff? Like, oh, how does that man. work? Great question. Neither faculty, staff, or students are required to go. But we've been announcing this since October and November. So we encourage people to participate. We encourage students who want to come to work with their faculty to make sure it's okay to miss a class at that time. And there's a website, and we'll make it available to you at the end of our discussion today, that you can go to for the specific times, the dates, the locations. But we are not canceling classes for those days, but we are encouraging people to participate but you have to work, if you're a student, work with your faculty about missing a class or classes. If you're faculty, make sure that you 
um, to the extent that you can, you're accommodating of students who want to participate in this moment of their institutional history too. Okay, um, so I'm excited. I think the students are excited. How do we sign up? How do we get a part of this? Great, so if you haven't seen the link, the link will be a part of this, I'm sure. It'll be in the FAQs that we'll post at the end as well and be available for you. Sign up, RSVP, and I know you have a website that <laughs> students can go to too or an Instagram page, right? Here. right? Um, all students, we, you can follow um, NPSA, which is the New Falls Student Association Instagram, where we have all updates coming out about the inauguration. Great, so RSVP, RSVP this week, and the reason it's important to RSVP, so we have a count. We have enough seats. We have enough food for the various receptions. We want to make sure that we do this well and that we celebrate the way a hawk should. Absolutely. I'm excited, President Wheeler. I'm excited to see you. I'm excited to celebrate SUNY New Paul's and make history. I am as well. And I, I know there's a lot more detail. I have a very long sheet of, of frequently asked questions that have been put together for us. So we're going to make this available. Please go to the FAQs, which will answer many more questions. I know that, Brianna, you're always out there, so I know students can ask you if they've got questions. 100%. If you see me around campus, you can just stop me and um, can, I can answer any questions you may have. Right, and I know <clears throat> that I'm available to answer questions if the FAQs don't, our team is. But we really want to make sure that SUNY New Paltz is putting its best foot forward to show the world what a wonderful institution this is and to really continuously elevate our status, not only among comprehensives in SUNY, but of very strong universities throughout the region and the country. So I thank you for joining me today. I thank you for having me here. All right then. All right. Hey. <laughs>